Today, many of us are using wireless communication. But did you ever think what was the main reason for the rapid development of wireless communication over the last decade? There are many reasons for the rapid development of wireless communication. One of the main reasons is duplexing. Hello everyone, this is Oesha and you are watching Oscar. In today's video, we are going to discuss about duplexing. Therefore, stay tuned with us till the very end. So, let's get started. The first question is, what is duplexing? In wireless communication, it is often desired to do two tasks simultaneously. That is transfer of information from the base station to the mobile unit and vice versa is called duplexing. You can take the example of cell phones where it is possible to talk and hear simultaneously. Are there different segments of duplexing? Yes, there are. There are two different types of duplex communication systems. Full duplex, FDX, half duplex, HDX. Let's know them in details. FDX, in a full duplex system, both the parties can communicate with each other simultaneously. An example of a full duplex device is cell phone service, where both the parties at the end of a call can speak and hear each other simultaneously. The earphone reproduces the speech of the remote party and the microphone transmits the speech of the local party. There is a two-way communication channel between them. Or more strictly speaking, there are two communication channels between them. HDX. In a half-duplex or semi-duplex system, both the parties can communicate with each other but not simultaneously. The communication will be one-directional at a time. An example of a half-duplex system is a walkie-talkie or a two-way radio that has a push-to-talk button. When the local user wants to talk to the remote person, they push this button, which turns off the receiver and turns on the transmitter, preventing them from hearing while they are speaking. To listen to the remote person, they release this button, which turns off the transmitter and turns on the receiver. It is important to know that systems that do not use duplex capability may instead use simplex communication in which one device transmits and the others can only hear. Examples are radio, television, wireless microphone, etc. In these devices, the communication is only in one direction. Where channel access methods are used from point to multi-point networks such as cellular networks for dividing the forward and reverse communication channels on the same physical communication mediums that are known as duplexing methods. They are as follows. FDD Frequency Division Duplexing In FDD, each duplexer channel consists of two simplex channels and a duplexer at each unit that is the base station and the mobile unit. The forward band provides traffic from the basic station to the mobile unit and the reverse channel provides data from the mobile unit to the base station. At any instance of time, the frequency split is constant. Let me clarify. If F1 represents the frequency of the forward band and F2 represents the frequency of the reverse band, then the frequency split F1 minus F2 is constant. FDD is used in radio communication that provides individual radio frequencies to each user. Since the transmitter provides simultaneous transmission and reception of data, it is necessary that there is proper coordination among the two channels. TDD – Time Division Duplexing In TDD, the splitting of channels is based on time slots. Unlike FDD, there is no need for two simple channels and duplexer at each end. So this reduces the complexity of the circuit. If the time split between the two channels, I that is forward and reverse is small, then there is simultaneous reception and transmission to the user. TDD enables each transmitter to operate as either a transmitter or a receiver on the allotted frequency and eliminates the need for two separate frequency channels for the forward and reverse reception of data.
So on comparing the pros and cons of FDD and TDD, today most of the wireless technologies use TDD as it eliminates the system complexity and also signal band frequency is sufficient for transmission and reception of data. That's it for today. If you like the video, share the video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy. Wear a mask, use sanitizer.